What's happening, YouTube? Back in the day, gamer here, coming at you with the next episode of NES A to Z. And this is episode four, so we are on letter D, and we are playing Dragon Spirit. Uh, I fast forward here right to the third level of the game, which is the jungle board. Uh, I thought the background on this looks a lot cooler than the first and the second board, so I figured, why don't we look at this one while we talk? All right, so. As you can now tell, Dragon Spirit is a shoot 'em up, and it has a very unique twist, uh, much different from 90 or 95 percent of all other shoot 'em ups. It is not sci-fi, and you are not a spaceship. It has a fantasy twist where you are actually a dragon, and I think that is extra cool and unique. Um, the only other shoot 'em up that I can recall having a unique twist like this would be Legendary Wings, where you are a flying guy who has wings. I like that game as well. I think I like Dragon Spirit more. Um, it's less difficult, and that doesn't mean I like an easy game, but Legendary Wings is tough. You know, when you're getting mad at a game, you can't get very far, it's hard to kind of enjoy it. I think I consider that game NES tough. But anyhow, Dragon Spirit is a good, unique shoot 'em up. Um, I believe your default dragon is a blue dragon, but as you get shoot things here like that egg, you get power ups. Um, also, sometimes there'll be enemies that are flashing. Uh, you'll shoot them and get a power up as well. But uh, the power ups not only improve the power of your weapon but they also kind of serve as your life bar um, right now I'm pretty powered up uh, the most powerful dragon power up that I think I've gotten so far is the green one uh, I haven't gotten too far I think I've gotten to the fourth or fifth board so hopefully there's more than just that but so far you start with the blue and the green seem to be the best um, but as I was saying the power-ups not only improve your weapon, but they serve as your life bar. So right now I got three heads. Um, you know, if I get hit instead of one-hit deaths or um, having a life bar, uh, you just downgrade. So I think if I get hit once, I will only have two heads. And then if I get hit again, only one. And that's cool as well. Uh, you know, in a lot of shoot 'em ups it's one-hit death. Like I said, you're usually a spaceship, so there's some unique twists on this game that I really like. Um, ooh, I'm squeeze through here. I don't like this part. I don't like this part at all, but you just gotta play it to get past, so. Um, another thing I like about this game, which I can't show you right yet, there we go, is you've got the B button is your fire, which shoots most of the enemies that are flying at you. Then you got your A button right here, which kind of is a bomb. So most enemies fly at you, so they're above the ground, and you shoot them with your, your your fire. But this guy right here and some others are on the ground, so you have to drop a bomb to hit them. So as you can see, we get another one. I can shoot and shoot and shoot, and the uh, the enemy will not be harmed because you have to drop the bomb on them. Um, I have had this game for many years but I'm not terribly good at it because for the longest time I could never get it to work. Uh, you know, you get a one-up card or you just use a Q-tip and you put some rubbing alcohol on it, you know, and you clean the game out, you know, you use it, you pull the Q-tip out and you see how dirty it is. Well, thanks to a video I watched from John Riggs, I learned about this magic video game cleaning potion called Brasso. Brasso is a... Oh, do I have to bomb those? It might. Brasso is a brass cleaner. And the pins in Nintendo games are brass. So you use this brass cleaner and it's like magic. Works way better than rubbing alcohol. Like I said, I probably have had this game for 5-10 years. And I could never get it to work. No matter how hard I tried or... How much I cleaned it with alcohol and a Q-tip. First time I used Brasso, got it to work. So, I'm sure you've got some old games that you can't get to work, especially 
in your old toaster. You know, toasters are the most difficult ones to get to work. Uh, the uh, top loader is a lot more forgiving. Um, but as I say often, I use a Retron 5 just because uh, I can hook it up through HDMI cables and easily record game video, such as I'm doing here. So, whether you have a toaster, a top loader, or a Retron 5, you've got to get yourself some Brasso. I think I got it on eBay or Amazon for like $9. And, you know, how many games can you not get to work or have a difficult time getting to work before they finally do? So the moral of this video is play Dragon Spirit because it's a fun shoot em up with a unique twist and get yourself some Brasso Metal Polish and polish those brass pins in your NES games and all the other retro video games to get them to work on the first try. Well, we're going to call this the end of this video because we don't want to make it too long. But I hope you enjoyed this game. If you never played it before, get it. It's worth a play. Um, probably my favorite shoot em up that I can recall. Um, throw another one in here that is totally obscure no one ever knows about is Xanak. That could be our game for letter Z when we get to it. But that is another episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment whether you like it or not. Let me know you're watching. Let me know what you want to see. And as always, thank you very much and keep it retro.